let's everybody keep cool. We're in good shape if we need to get home. Let's solve the problem, but let's not make it any worse by guessing. This is part of the famous exchange between NASA flight director Gene Kranz and Apollo 13 astronauts in 1970. It helped immortalize NASA's Mission Control Center in Houston. The once bustling building was the epicenter of several milestones in human history. They include man's first steps on the moon. But today, that room is retired and a wreck. Mark Strassman is inside the old Mission Control Room in Houston with the efforts to bring the past back to life. Mark, good morning. Good morning. This is the Mission Control Room, where a generation of Americans watched NASA beat the Soviets in the race to the moon. For almost 30 years, the people in this room directed more than 40 Gemini, Apollo, and space shuttle launches and landings. Now there's a new mission here to save this room. Houston, Tranquility Base here. July 20th, 1969. The Eagle has landed. Man was on the moon. You got a bunch of guys about to turn blue. We're breathing again. Thanks a lot. The world breathed a sigh of relief <laughs> and celebrated. Maybe no group more so than the people inside the Apollo Mission Control Room. This room inside Building 30 of the Johnson Space Center. This room is sacred to me. Gene Kranz, now 83, was NASA's flight director during the Gemini and Apollo missions. We won the battle for space in this room, and we captured the high ground, and we did not surrender it during our tour. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. It was Krantz who was in charge when an explosion aboard Apollo 13 nearly cost the lives of its three astronauts. That high drama was featured in the movie Apollo 13. I want this mark all the way back to Earth with time to spare. Kranz was played by actor Ed Harris. Failure is not an option. Oh, that looks beautiful from here, Neil. NASA used this mission control room with its monochrome computer monitors and rotary dial telephones starting in 1965. It went dark in 1992, well into the shuttle program. Since then, the room has been designated a National Historic Landmark, but you never know that from the looks of it. Houston, we have a problem. Decay from years of neglect and souvenir seekers who walked off with pieces of space history. Take a look at the consoles. I used to have an abort switch in there. Where the heck's the abort switch? The displays don't work anymore. When you look at the condition of the room today, what goes through your mind? It's a combination of frustration, anger, uh, resentment. This is not appropriate. This is where our generation made history. Okay, let's go there. Come this is where up. Apollo Hello, Neil and Buzz. fulfilled the challenge issued by President Kennedy. Is the condition of this room an insult to everybody in that period to make history? Yes, it, yes, it is. With NASA's slashed budget, the agency's priority is the future of space travel, not preserving its past. Space Center Houston, the nonprofit that runs the Visitor Center here, has launched a $5 million fundraising campaign to restore this room to its 1960s glory. It's not only important for United States history, but world history. William Harris, Space Center Houston CEO, detailed for us how this iconic part of NASA's past will have a brighter future. All the consoles had to be removed, restored, buttons replaced, the screens will be needed redone. All of this is, is really old. Our commitment is to restore it back to the way it was. Krantz wants to experience one more thrill in this room, to see it restored. And he's bringing his legendary can-do spirit to the project. This is a room that will now represent the best America had to offer. Failure is not, not an option. option. Not an option, but there is a deadline. Fundraisers have until late summer to come up with a needed $5 million in time to finish all these needed repairs before the 50th anniversary of Apollo 11's moon landing in July 2019. Margaret? Mark, to hear those story. guys reminds me of what Hemingway once said, courage is grace under pressure. Indeed. And these guys seem to have it. And, and it's, it's remarkable that this, I think most Americans, when they see this story, will want to contribute or help in some way because it really is part of our history. Absolutely. Successful part of our history. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Well, thanks for that story, Mark.